America. Good afternoon, Super Talk Mississippi. You are tuned into your radio happy hour. That's the good things. I'm your host, Rebecca Turner. We've got Will this afternoon. Now, Good Things wants to encourage you to go on an adventure in Mississippi. So go to visitmississippi.org to find out more. Now, I want you to imagine yourself on vacation. That's fun, right? You're enjoying a snorkeling adventure under the sea, deep blue seas, beautiful coral reefs, fish galore. And then you see a pair of dentures just there lonely pair of dentures. What would you do (laughs) with those? I'll tell you what our guest did. Actually, I'll let our guest tell you what he did. Joining us today on Good Things to Share His uh, Fun Snorkeling Adventure is Aaron Welburn. Hey, Aaron. Hey, how are you? This is one of those stories you read twice, so you make sure that you got it right, and then you just kind of have to learn all the details out, out of it. So set the stage for us. Where were you and your wife vacationing when the snorkeling adventure happened? So we were with our whole family at Gulf Shores, and um, I was just down the beach a good ways from them by like where a little lagoon is, and I'd found this little pocket that had been collecting stuff for, like, days, and I'd just been going back and looking in this pocket, and uh, or like, a, just a deep spot off of the beach. And uh, I'd actually given up for the day and was like, well, I'll just put my goggles on as I go back up to the shore and look as I go back up there, and there they were. There sitting they there were. at the bottom. I didn't even make a step. I literally put my goggles on, looked in, and they were sitting there. So what was sitting there? Tell us what you saw. A pair of dentures that belonged to uh, a Randy Williams from Wisconsin, uh, and they had his name basically printed in the, in the roof of the dentures, um, which I thought was odd. Well, I guess that's good practice. You know, your mama would always write your name in the ba- in your britches and in your T-shirts and socks when she sent you off to camp. You would think that maybe if you ever lost your dentures, you would want your, your name into those, too. What encouraged you, Aaron, to pick them up? I mean, that's like, I don't, I mean, yeah. What was going through your mind? Well, honestly, everybody asked me that, but I mean, nothing encouraged me. I just... I literally just reached down with no thought and just grabbed them because I thought it was funny that they were sitting there. And so I was like, i got to take these to my wife. She's got to see these. She's not going to believe that there was a pair of dentures out there. So I grabbed them and walked up to the beach uh, to her, and I've got them hid like I've got a big shell hid and told her to close her eyes while I put those in her hand. And uh, when she opened her eyes, obviously it wasn't a big shell. It was a set of teeth smiling back at her. She had to think that you were nuts. Okay, but you had the Good Samaritan enough in you to say, these obviously belong to somebody. They have a name on them, Randy. How did you go about connecting Randy back to his teeth? So I just made a post on Facebook. I was like, you know, surely somebody will, you know, find this guy because obviously there's not a lot of people that have lost their teeth. Um, In the the ocean. Like, I mean, it was very specific, yes. Correct. Correct. Uh, not a lot of people that have lost their teeth in the ocean. Um, so I posted them on Facebook, and um, my wife's aunt, Kayla Jenkins, she said she she commented and said, "Hey, I think I found the guy." And what she did, she just went on Facebook and typed Randy Williams Gulf Shores, and then he had luckily posted a picture and said, "You know, I'm enjoying Gulf Shores" or something like that. And she messaged him and said, "Hey, you know, I don't mean to be." Uh, weird, but did you lose a set of teeth? <laughs> and he was like, actually, yes, I did. But he thought that someone set a friend, like set him up to mess with him because his friends knew he had lost his teeth. And so he thought somebody was messing with him. But I got his number and called him, and he was more than excited to get them back. I think I read. Wait, he still used them? I think they're, what, they're like a $2,000 set of teeth, correct, Aaron? Yes, they were two thousand dollars. He had, the Friday I found them, he had went to the dentist that morning, and the quote was nineteen eighty nineteen eighty seven. I think was the quote. So they were new teeth. Well, no, well, the teeth. Yeah, well, I mean they looked new, but I'm saying like the morning that I found them, he had went to the dentist to get a new, new set. set. Gotcha. And what they would the new set would have cost him nineteen eighty seven if I wouldn't have found those. Well, were you curious enough to ask or brave enough to ask, man? How'd you lose your teeth? 
I mean, I get I've lost a pair of sunglasses. We've all lost a hat on a boat that may have flown off or, or done whatever. Um, but it's it's random that you would actually lose a pair of teeth. And I think we've lost Aaron. I'm sure he'll reconnect in just a second. Um, and we'll let him do that. And, but I do remember, I think we all remember being floating there, riding the waves in the ocean. A good wave comes by and knocks you over. There goes your sunglasses. You may lose a hat. But Aaron, to lose the teeth, I would have to ask the man, how did that happen? So did he share with you how his teeth ended up on the bottom of Gulf Shores? So he said that he was out in front of Bahama Bob's and a wave hit him and just knocked his teeth out. I'm not sure how this wa- how big this wave was, but knocked his teeth out. And uh, he, he went back the next morning at low tide and looked for three hours trying to find him. How long had the man been without his teeth? Uh, he had been five days. You know, that had to be an interesting rest of the vacation, or how do you, you know, come up with that? What, what did he say when he lost the teeth? Did he go, Dad Gummit? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure there were more words than that. He didn't say, uh, he didn't say what he said, but he was very upset because he knew what it was going to cost to, to get him a new set. Well, that has to be a first. And is this the strangest thing you've ever found while snorkeling? Oh, absolutely. I never find anything interesting. I always, you know, it's always a, a cheap pair of sunglasses or a or a ponytail or something like that or, you know, nothing interesting. If you ever find um, a pair of turtle costas, the, the female, what, a pair of turtle. Do what now? As if you ever find a pair of costas that have like the turtle kind of uh, black and brown, um, you know, um, coloring on them, they're probably yeah. mine. So you just go on and return them. I lost them about five years ago. Uh, at Gulf Shores. Uh, I don't know if it was in the same area, but um, but no, I love it. Okay, and he was excited. Is he using, I mean, he, did he get them back? Or are we smile? Is Randy smiling again? Oh, yeah. So I sent them to him, and he sent me a video. He cut the box open and popped them right in. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have to be fast friends, uh, you know, from now on. And this story, I know, has sort of ca- caught wind and went viral for all the right reasons. Are you surprised this many people are interested in your little find? Yes. I mean, I, I was more interested in the fact that people were so excited to find out that I was returning them. Like, they were just like, oh, we need more errands in the world. And I'm not, like, boasting or whatever. But, I mean, I'm like, my first thought was, what else am I going to do with these teeth? Like, I don't want them. I can't do anything with them, so obviously I'll, I mean, take them back to the guy. But um, that was what shocked me the most was people were shocked that I returned them to him. I'm so, not shocked that you returned them. That's what a good Mississippi boy does, Aaron. I'm impressed right. you picked them up to begin with because I can't, <laughs> I think if I was snorkeling, I was like, oh, there's some teeth. You know, you had a very aerial, you know, moment of like picking up the things and taking it to, you know, to the keepsake or, or wherever. But um, it was just right timing. You were in the right place sort of at the at the right time. You are a Mississippi boy. Where's home? Do what now? Where's home for you in Mississippi? Uh, Florence, Mississippi. All righty. Well, you you earned cool points for, for um, uh, Will and I today. And I, I do think that taking the time to try to connect to him was a was a good thing you didn't have to you didn't have to do that and i'm glad that there's a happy ending to the story are you going to k- keep snorkeling oh absolutely uh, uh everybody when we go to the beach everybody lays on a on a towel or in their chair and suntan and i'm not a i'm not a sitter so uh I, I go and do something so that's what i do with my time when i'm down there i just swim the coastline looking for anything that's worth finding I don't know if I've ever thought about snorkeling in Gulf Shores. Is it, I mean, do you have to have training for that or can you just throw on a snorkel and have oh, fun? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm nothing special when it comes to that. Uh, it's been blown out of proportion a little bit, I guess you could say, uh, through this event or through finding the teeth. People, I think some people thought that I'm a, uh, an expert and I'm far from that. I'm just, a, I just bought some at a, you know, probably academy sports years ago and that's what i've been using all along well the bar set high for your next snorkeling adventure i feel like if you come back with only cool she shells you know no good relic or any other prosthetic arm leg teeth i'm trying to pair glasses i don't know something something interesting then you're going to be you're going to be a little let down 
That's right. Nobody's going to want to hear about it now. <laughs> well, we enjoyed hearing about it, Aaron. I appreciate your time here on Good Things, and it's a, it's a fun story. So kudos to you. All right. Thank you. It was good talking to you. Someone said, it's hard to eat good seafood on vacation without your choppers. That ruined that guy's vacation. He's like a reverse tooth fairy, if you think about it. You know, he brings the teeth back. <laughs> he brings the teeth back. I mean, you got a point. It would be, of all the things to lose on vacation, the, the thing to enjoy what you it would be, it would just make things odd. Somebody should do something for him. They should get him a little plaque. You know, plaque. Oh, that was a terrible dad joke. <laughs> All right, stick with us. We've got your lost and found stories coming up.